Stepwise is a tool that allows you to write proofs and have them checked at each step to make sure that they're correct. If you get stuck, there are a couple of different kinds of hints that you can ask for. Stepwise has rule sets that correspond to the identities and inference rules of Boolean logic, predicate logic, and set theory. Stepwise is invoked with a particular problem to be solved, a claim to be proved. Let's look at the screen. At the top are a title and a description of the proof that's to be constructed. Here is a list of the premises. In the example shown here, we're going to try to prove that this initial claim is a tautology. So there is just a single premise. As a proof progresses, each derived claim will also show up on this list. So at each step, this is the list of claims that we have to work with. Above the list of premises is the goal, the claim to be proved. In this example, since we're trying to prove a tautology, the goal is to prove equivalence to true. Here is the place where we construct proof steps. Identity rules take a single input. Some inference rules also take a single input, but some may take two. So there is room for either one or two inputs. Here we have entered one input. Then we must specify the rule, an identity or an inference rule, that we'll use. Now we enter the derived claim. Stepwise tries to make entering logical expressions as easy as possible. One option is to type from scratch. Here is a list of the logical symbols that we may need if we do that. To use one of them, all we have to do is to place the cursor at the desired insertion point, then click on a symbol. Once we've entered a new claim, we'll push the green check button. Stepwise will then check that our step is correct. If it isn't, we'll get an error message. If it is, it will appear on the list of claims, and we'll be able to move on to the next step. Notice that it also shows up here in the box where we'll construct our next step. Stepwise does this because it's very common that the next step will be a relatively small change to the previous one. Editing is often faster than having to type the new line from scratch. Another way in which Stepwise tries to limit the amount of typing that we have to do is that, to pick up any existing claim and drop it into the conclusion line, all we have to do is place the cursor on the conclusion line and then double click the claim. And there it is. Stepwise has a collection of tools that can help us as we write our proof. When it's time to enter the rule that we're going to use, we can start entering the name of a rule and Stepwise will automatically complete it for us. Or if we're not sure of the name we want, we can just click on the box. At that point, up will pop a menu of the rules that can be used in the kind of proof that we're working on. In the default mode, all rules will appear even if they can't be applied to the input lines that we've specified. But if we want a bit more help, we can click on the funnel. If we do that, the list that pops up will include only rules that can legally be applied to the input lines that we're using. The funnel is a toggle, so just hit it again to go back to the default mode. But suppose that we don't remember what a particular rule does. Then we can select it. If we then click on the book, a definition of the selected rule will appear. Or we can click on the wrench to see exactly what will happen if we apply the selected rule to the specified inputs. If we roll the mouse over the rule glossary bar at the left of the screen, the screen will rotate, and a list of all the available rules will appear. And if we were to click on any rule, its definition will appear. Finally, if we're really stuck, we can click on the Help button in the lower right corner of the screen. For many problems, hints have been provided. When they have, they'll appear, one hint at a time, as the question mark is touched.